Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 MH17 was a scheduled passenger flight from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur that was shot down on 17 July 2014 while flying over eastern Ukraine, killing all 283 passengers and 15 crew on board. Contact with the aircraft, a Boeing 777-200ER, was lost when it was about 50 kilometers (31 miles) from the Ukraine-Russia border, and wreckage of the aircraft fell near Rybov in Donetsk Oblast, Ukraine, 40 kilometers (25 miles) from the border. The shoot-down occurred in the war in Donbass during the Battle of Shakhtarsk, in an area controlled by pro-Russian rebels. The crash was Malaysia Airlines' second aircraft loss during 2014 after the disappearance of Flight 370 on 8 March. The responsibility for investigation was delegated to the Dutch Safety Board (DSB) and the Dutch-led Joint Investigation Team (JIT), who concluded that the airliner was downed by a buck surface-to-air missile launched from pro-Russian separatist-controlled territory in Ukraine. According to the JIT, the buck that was used originated from the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade of the Russian Federation, and had been transported from Russia on the day of the crash, fired from a field in a rebel-controlled area, and the launcher returned to Russia after it was used to shoot down MH17. On the basis of the JIT's conclusions, the governments of the Netherlands and Australia hold Russia responsible for the deployment of the Buck installation and are taking steps to hold Russia formally accountable. The DSB and JIT findings confirmed earlier claims by American and German intelligence sources as to the missile type and launch area. In 2014, the American intelligence had also said that Russia had supplied the Buck missile to pro-Russian insurgents, and that the insurgents most plausibly shot down MH17 in error, after misidentifying it as a military aircraft. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk laid the blame on professional soldiers who came from Russia with Ukrainian passports and were coordinated from Russia. As of May 2018, the Russian government rejects claims that Russia bears any responsibility for the crash, and denies involvement. The Russian Defense Ministry said that it had never deployed anti-aircraft missile systems in Ukraine. Several conspiracy theories about the crash have since appeared in Russian media, including that the aircraft was followed by a Ukrainian military jet. The Russian government holds Ukraine responsible for the crash, asserting that Ukraine should have redirected the civilian traffic away from the area of conflict. Several Ukrainian Air Force (UAF) aircraft had been shot down over the rebel-controlled territory before the MH17 incident. Immediately after the crash, a post appeared on the V-Contacta social media profile attributed to Igor Gherkin, leader of the Donbass separatist militia, claiming responsibility for shooting down a Ukrainian and 26 military transporter near Torres. This post was removed later the same day, and the separatists then denied shooting down any aircraft. Russian news agency TASS also reported eyewitness accounts claiming that the Donbass militia had just shot down a Ukrainian and 26 military plane with a missile. In late July 2014, communications intercepts were made public in which, it is claimed, separatists are heard discussing an aircraft that they had downed. A video from the crash site, recorded by the rebels and obtained by News Corp Australia, shows the first rebel soldiers to arrive at the crash site. At first, they assumed that the downed aircraft was a Ukrainian military jet, and were dismayed when they started to realise that it was a civilian airliner. <laughs> 